Today we are talking about thought transmission, which means to communicate with others via the subconscious mind. So, independently of who they are, your story is with them, and especially where they are in the world. Okay? But before we get to it, hello everyone, my name is Al. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're in need of coaching, go to my description box. All information is there. But right now, let's get into today's topic. Before we start today's video, I would like to mention something because some people may worry about this being manipulation or forcing people to do or say things that they don't want to. And I want to remind you that those thoughts, although valid, they are very 3D based. They are based in separation. And in reality, there is no separation. We are all consciousness. Everything that exists right now that you can see and feel everything is consciousness and exists in consciousness and we manifest from being consciousness so in reality everything that happens happens much more harmoniously than you can imagine everyone is always going to reflect what's most dominant within you so whether good or bad, people has always been doing this. It has always come from your state of consciousness. It's not because you are sitting down and working on your self-concept and working on yourself that it makes things different. No, before you were creating by default. Now as a manifester, you know that you can change who you are. You can change how you feel about yourself and you can change how you feel about the world. And this is going to create a different response in the 3D. So now you are creating by design. What you have to understand is when you decide that you want to experience someone coming up with something or acting a certain way, they are not doing this like being forced. They think they want to do it. They think they want to say it. This is how it happens because, as I said, we are all connected. We are all one. And they are helping you as consciousness to experience a certain situation, a certain event that you desire. So basically, what you imagine, imagines you too. According to Neville, the subconscious is what we are and the conscious is what we know. When it comes to other people, you know, the way that they show up in our 3D depends on the awareness of two things, who we are and who they are. There is a harmonious play between these two. So basically about the beliefs we hold of who we are and who they are, which makes everything very malleable and subject to change because you don't have to force them into anything. You don't have to act in the 3D and do anything to change a situation. The only thing that you have to change is the self, is the awareness of the self. In the book, Prayer, the Art of Believing, Neville shared with us exactly what we have to do to experiment with thought transmission. He said, think about someone that you desire to say something, to do something, to act a certain way. Bring that person before your mind's eye and see them affirming to you exactly what you want them to say or to do. You have to experience it in imagination as if it was a fact. You have to see through that reality while in that scene. You have to make it real for you. And when you do, then it's going to awake a state within that person. And that person is going to fulfill your desire because that state is going to persist in them until mission is accomplished. And Neville was very clear. It doesn't matter what it is that you desire to be said or done. It doesn't matter whom you select to fulfill that. The only thing that matters is the fulfillment of that desire in imagination. So this should be your goal, not the 3D, not what's possible, not should I do it or not. If you have a desire and you want to experience it, do it in imagination, have fun with it. And it's going to cause a change in the 3D just because you cause the change within you. Try it out. 
you know, experiment with it. I do this all the time and I do this because I am always questioning reality. I am questioning the limitations that reality tells me that are in place, okay? So I do this um, with family and friends. For example, I had a boyfriend driving to the other side of the city to pick up my favorite food and my favorite restaurant. I had family buying stuff that I had forgotten to write down in my grocery list. You know, I had people contacting me, sending me texts when we hadn't talked in like months. Uh, so many things, changing the mind, like they said, I would never go windsurfing with you. And then suddenly they were like, yeah, let's go and do it just because you want to do it. <laughs> stuff like that, you know, try it out with your family, with your friends, internalize that reality isn't fixed. It is malleable. You can change it. And people is you pushed out. Put it to test and you're going to see, you're going to realize that you are more than the 3D you, the human you. You have so much more power within you. You don't have to fall for the illusion of the 3D, okay? That's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. We are going to talk soon. Bye, guys.